Today's topic is digital transmission, block coding, and in digital transmission, we'll be discussing block coding and scrambling. We have already discussed in the previous class about the digital transmission, that is line coding, the various characteristics and the uh, uh, nature of digital transmission, and then the various schemes that comes under line coding has been discussed along with the uh, problems associated with the line coding system uh, was discussed in the previous uh, class. So today we will focus on block coding and scrambling. So first we will come to uh, what is uh, block coding. So block coding uh, as you can see here uh, is coding scheme where a block of uh, m bit okay m number of bits are uh, changed into uh, change into n in, into a block of n bits so therefore it is also uh, sometimes known as m bit slash n bit m bit n bit this is because uh, there is a need for redundancy to ensure synchronization and provide some kind of uh, error detecting mechanism uh, uh, as we have said in the characteristic of uh, digital transmission that error it is desirable to have error detecting mechanism in order to ensure that error detecting mechanism is in the coding system so uh, this technique has been developed so this is one uh, technique block coding is one technique that allows uh, uh, error detecting and uh, it gives us uh, redundancy and uh, improvements over line uh, coding so this is uh, what it is and then as we've said uh, the advantage is that it allows redundancy and to ensure redundancy ensures synchronization and error detecting so this is an improvement of a line coding system so basically uh, there are block coding involves uh, three steps one is division two is a substitution three is a combination so division the first steps the process okay the first step is division where a sequence of uh, uh, bits are is divided into uh, m bits that means we are sending streams of uh, uh, streams of uh, bits okay so these things are grouped into m bits then these uh, uh, these m bits or this grouping is then substituted okay so an m bit group is substituted with the with an n bit group so then combination the third step is combination the n bit groups are after it is being substituted it is replaced with m bits are replaced with n bit it is combined to form a streams of bit as we have in the original then another uh, n bit uh, streams of n bit uh, 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 yeah con n, uh, streams of bit which is uh, n bit groups are combined together for transmission so out of these uh, three steps probably substitution is the main thing in the uh, block coding okay so this is uh, this uh, figure shows us i mean uh, displays how this thing takes place you will notice that this is a uh, m bit these are streams of bit which are uh, divided into blocks or groups okay of m bits first first m bit second m bit third m bit and n and so on and then the substitution takes place here so m bit to n substitution and then this is the outcome of the grouping which is combined together as a, and then send over the transmission channel as a streams of n bit usually what happened is that the uh, the bit the n bit is usually larger than the m bit uh, say for example that uh, in 4b 5b encoding scheme okay 4b 5b encoding scheme a group of uh, four bits okay 
a group of 4 bits are being uh, encoded into a group of 5 bits. So uh, finally the n groups are uh, combined to form the stream. So the new streams are uh, all usually bigger than the original streams. Now if we come to the uh, sorry yeah this is one scheme of a block coding uh, which is using uh, I mean which is known as a, a 4 bit 5 bit with none return to zero invert now this is called uh, what we call this is a 4 binary 4b 5b means uh, 4 binary uh, and 5 binary that means a group of uh, uh, 4 bits are being replaced by the by a group of 5 bits now this scheme was designed to use in combination with uh, uh, none return to 0 none return to 0 invert okay none return to 0 invert uh, if we can recall uh, in the previous uh, lecture that uh, none return to zero NRJI has a good signal rate and, uh, and which is better than the biphase but it has problems right synchronization problems it is known for the synchronization problems uh, because uh, a long sequence of zero can make the receiver clock loss synchronization okay when you have uh, zeros for a long the streams of bit that we transmit over the link becomes a long sequence of zero then the receiver can go out of sync that is a problem that we have in none return to zero so the uh, this one solution is to change the bit stream prior to the encoding uh, with the none return to zero change the bit stream so that you don't have a long sequence of zeros in order to avoid that okay so it have long uh, uh, if that way when you uh, change the long streams or when you change before doing this encoding to an, uh, none return to zero invert you change the uh, encoding system that way long sequence of zeros are being avoided this uh, four bit five bit uh, scheme achieves this goal the block coded uh, stream does not have more than three consecutive zeros so there will be no long sequence of zeros uh, at the receiver this none return to uh, zero encoded signal is first decoded here first decoded in uh, back uh, this because it goes through as a NRJI, so here NRJI is decoded, then it is uh, decoded back to uh, 4B, 5B, and ultimately it, it is uh, sent to the receiver. So, the uh, in this uh, uh, 4, 4B, 5B, the 5 bit output that replaces a 4 bit input has more than one leading zero left bit and no more than two trailing zeros. Okay. So on the left hand side you'll have uh, one and then on the trailing side you'll have uh, not more than uh, two zeros. As you will see here you can see that this is the for example the first if you look at the first row the data sequence here is zero zero four zeros which is being encoded uh, uh, with the, this uh, four bit five bit into these are remember these are four bits only there are four bits here it is encoded to five bits it becomes one 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 zero okay similarly zero zero one it has three zeros is being converted to zero one zero zero one okay so on the left hand side you have only one zero here one zero and the one which is trailing the digit one zero you have only two so similarly you have one zero you have two zeros here okay so that is the maximum amount of uh, zeros allowed in this uh, encoding system as we said this is meant for uh, 
avoiding a long sequence of uh, zeros, uh, which is uh, part of the non return to zero invert. Now, uh, this effectively uh, avoids a long sequence of zero and the receiver will not go out of synchronization. So, when uh, uh, different groups are combined to make a new sequence, there are never more than three, uh, three consecutive zeros. Uh, so, as you can see here in this table, that the first two columns are 4 bit 5, and then the two, these two pairs, this is data second and quoted sequence, is 5 bit. So, a group of 4 bit can have only, a 4 bit can have, a group of 4 bits can have only uh, 16 different combinations. Okay, that is 16 combination of uh, 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 bits. And while as 5 bit combination, okay, a 5 bit which is like this one, the second column can have can have up to 32 different combinations. This means that uh, there are 16 uh, groups that are not used in 4 bit, 5 bit, 16 uh, different combinations, okay, combinations because this uh, 5 bit is capable of 32 but the 4 bit we are grouping the data into 4 bits only so the 16 then uh, we still have 16 uh, combination which is not used for representing the data sequence these some of these things are used for control bits okay so for example here in the first row here if you look at this we have q i uh, H, J, uh, K, T, S, R, quite idle, halt, start delimiter, start uh, uh, delimiter, end delimiter, set, reset. So the unused uh, 16 bits, some of the 16 unused 16 bits are used for control bits. So this, uh, and then uh, it also provides a kind of uh, error detection. The unused group is also used for error detection. If a 5-bit groups arrive uh, uh, that belongs to the unused portion of the table, then the receiver knows that there is an error transmission. For example, these are the used portion, the used portion, okay, and these are the these are the control. Now, whatever is left here, if it arrives, then uh, the receiver knows that unless it belongs to this sequence or this sequence the anything that arrives uh, other than that the receiver can tell that there is error in the transmission that way error detection can be uh, taken care of so this is uh, uh, an example of uh, 4b uh, 5b uh, mapping uh, codes okay so this is uh, how it, it, it takes place. Uh, this is an example of uh, substitution in 4B, in 4B, 5B coding. It solves the problems of synchronization and overcomes one of the deficiency of non-return to zero. Uh, that is, uh, however, we need to remember that the increase, uh, that it increases the signal rate because we are adding one additional bit. Uh, the redundancy bit, uh, it, it adds 20% more, more bow to the signal, that is 20% uh, more to the signal which is being transmission compared to the, the actual data, but the result is less than the biphase scheme, so it is much more uh, desirable than the biphase scheme. Okay. Com now, uh, another uh, block coding scheme is 8-bit, uh, 10-bit, uh, 8B, 10B. In other words, this, uh, the full form is uh, 8 uh, binary, binary, uh, 10 binary. Encoding, which is similar to uh, uh, this uh, 4B, 5B. Uh, encoding except that a group of uh, data is now substituted by 10 bits okay 10 bit code 
and it provides a greater uh, error detection compared to the uh, uh, the previous one now if you look at this what well, this is one scheme encoding uh, in uh, 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 in 8 bit uh, 10 bit now 8 bit block is encoded with 5 uh, 5 the first 5 uh, uh, 5 for the first 5 bit is encoded into 6 bit here okay the first 5 out of this for example how many yes the first 5 1 2 3 4 5 bits will be encoded into 6 bits then the remaining 3 bits this will be encoded into 4 bits okay so we have uh, these two combination okay and ultimately that is being uh, transmitted now this is the two uh, base I mean examples of uh, uh, block coding now let us come to scrambling what is scrambling scrambling comes out uh, due to the necessity and I mean uh, there is a necessity to have a technique that does not increase the number of bits okay but it provides synchronization that means we need a technique that provides synchronization without increasing the number of bits but in case of uh, 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 block coding we are we already said that the number of bits are being increased 4 bit becomes 4 bits becomes 5 bits so that is the disadvantage now here without increasing the number of bits can we provide synchronization that is what scrambling is trying to address now you also need a solution that substitutes okay at the same time you also need this uh, to substitute long zero level pulses with the combination of other levels to provide uh, synchronization okay now this uh, uh, scrambling uh, is uh, okay now if you look at this this is done scrambling is done uh, at the same time as encoding okay now uh, if you remember that the by phase schemes that are suitable for uh, links between station and land are not suitable for long distance communication because it requires a long uh, I mean it requires a, a larger bandwidth then the combination of block coding and non return to zero coding is not suitable for long okay long this block coding is also not suitable for long distance uh, it's not a uh, long distance encoding because there is still a DC component then bipolar AMI uh, is uh, encoding on the other hand has a narrow bandwidth and does not create a DC component so uh, but a long sequence of zeros upset the synchronization so uh, to find a way uh, to avoid long sequence of zeros in the original stream uh, we are using bipolar AMI for long sequence uh, uh, for long distance transmission so that is what scrambling is trying to do now one solution in scrambling is that uh, uh, I mean uh, the uh, I mean one thing that the scrambling does is that we are modifying a part of the AMI rule to include scrambling as you can see here uh, AMI is being modified in this figure so as opposed to block coding it is uh, done at the time here at the time of encoding itself decoding is also done at the time of decoding uh, so the system needs to insert the required the required uh, pulses on the defined rules and let's look at the uh, schemes this is one scheme where the uh, it is also known as b8 uh, jet s which means that uh, uh, bipolar bipolar with uh, 8 0 substitution okay so this is the full form of b8 jet s is 
bipolar with eight zero substitution. This is commonly uh, used, particularly in North America. This technique, uh, uh, in this technique, if you have eight consecutive zero level voltage, okay, uh, then these are replaced by a sequence of a sequence of uh, zero 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 v b zero v b so this is the rule if you have eight consecutive zeros then replace those consecutive zeros with zero 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 v b zero v b okay now the v here means v stands for uh, violation violation v stands for violation that means that uh, non-zero voltage that breaks that ami rule okay that is against ami rule of encoding that is opposite polarity from the previous opposite polarity from the previous according to ami rule uh, if uh, the, you need to have opposite polarity if it is a non-zero then the uh, the previous one is uh, uh, non-zero then the next one has i mean for example here one according to ami rule you have one zero 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 and here it should have been uh, for example uh, this side it should have been negative the first one is positive so that is being violated that is a violation okay then B is a sequence that denotes bipolar. B stands for bipolar. Okay, which means that a non-zero level voltage in uh, accordance with the AMI rules. So if we look at this, now uh, in this the previous level is positive. So we have uh, the previous level here is positive. One is positive. So we have long sequence of eight, I mean long uh, eight uh, zeros. That is one, two, three, four. If you look at this, the sequence of zeros are eight. So we have to substitute this with zero zero vb zero vb. So we have zero 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 and violation. As per AMI rule, this is supposed to be on this side, but instead because the, the here it is one. I mean. Uh, one is represented uh, with a positive uh, pulse so this should have been negative but instead we violate the ami rule and then we follow that the violation the it, it, uh, we convert into a positive uh, voltage and then we have the next one is bipolar that is opposite of this volt okay the other pole this is in the uh, positive uh, volt this is in the other side of the positive volts in this case we can say this negative volt then we have zero then we have violation again because according to ami if this is uh, uh, negative the next one should have been this should have been positive but we violate that again and we follow the same uh, polarity we follow the same polarity as this one after the next zero and then after that we have uh, this one is polar again I mean bipolar again because this one violation is negative therefore this becomes positive so this is one example similarly here also we have uh, the previous level is negative so we have a negative uh, voltage therefore we if it is if the previous level is negative then the, the substitution uh, will be uh, the same now if you look at this uh, the substitution is here here yeah. yeah. 0 0 0 violation bipolar 0 violation bipolar so the same we are following here this one is uh, negative therefore we have 0 0 then violation if you look at this compared to this also is a I mean a representation of 8 consecutive zeros in this case the previous one is positive in this case the previous one is negative okay the voltage is negative therefore we have negative the next three is zero zero and we have violation 
violation therefore it will be negative instead of being positive so here in this case uh, we have positive zero zero violation which is supposed to be in ami rules which is supposed to be negative but we have violation therefore we have positive similarly we follow the same thing and then we have bipolar that is again opposite of this uh, negative voltage we have uh, positive then uh, zero then we have violation again i mean this one which should have been uh, negative has become uh, positive and then we have bipolar that is uh, this is against b uh, this between these two this positive and this is the negative now if you look at this there are two uh, different ways of combination depending upon whether the previous is level is positive or negative if the previous level is po positive then we have uh, this sequence of uh, uh, pattern uh, then the previous level is negative then we have this sequence so these are two types of uh, uh, two types of uh, or two ways of uh, representing uh, the scrambling uh, the consecutive uh, zero, uh, zeros so this is how uh, consecutive uh, zeros are being avoided now uh, there is another technique uh, which is based on this is uh, what we call HDB uh, uh, HDB3 uh, HDB3 uh, it, uh, it stands for let me give you here high density high density bipolar 3 0 that is HDB3 high density bipolar 3 0 now this is uh, based on the uh, these two rules okay we have two rules one is if the number of non-zero pulses after the last substitution is odd the substitution pattern will be zero zero uh, violation which makes the total number of non-zero pulses even okay if the number of non-zero pulses after the last substitution is even the substitution pattern will be b00 uh, v which makes the total number of non pulses even okay just one uh, okay mm. okay now this is uh, the, the base on those two rules now if you look at this is the uh, b3 now we have for example in the first substitution here in the first substitution uh, the last that is the last substitution is uh, uh, even okay then we are using let me write it down here we are using two things we either it should be zero 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 violation or bipolar zero zero volt this is the two uh, the two way of substitution in the first substitution the uh, the number of uh, non-zero pulses okay the number of non-zero pulses is odd or even okay now non-zero pulses is odd or even then the pattern will be zero zero volts in that case what do we have uh, uh, the non-zero pulses here if you look at this row i mean column the non-zero non pulses is uh, i think we have only uh, one okay so we are assuming that we have only one non-zero pulses then the technique will be b zero zero v that is bipolar zero zero and then violation now since the uh, previous is uh, uh, the previous number substitution is even we are assuming it is even so it is converted into b zero zero violation b for bipolar that is uh, this is the last one uh, again I mean opposite of the last one the last one is negative therefore this will become positive then we have zero zero then we are violating AMI rules where we are supposed to be on the negative side because this one is non zero volt or pulse is uh, positive but AMI says that it should be uh, uh, negative but we violate that 
and then it becomes B00 voltage. Now, uh, if we look at this, the next uh, substitution is uh, OT, the none, uh, if the none, uh, none, if the number of non zero pulses, okay, non zero pulses after the last substitution is OT, the substitution pattern will be 00 V. So, this is the, since it is OT, the last uh, is uh, OT, so 00 uh, V. Again, similarly, we have this B00 V again. So, these are the uh, techniques, the two techniques of uh, scrambling and uh, with this, uh, we have come to the end of the lecture on digital transmission, uh, where we are covering block coding and uh, scrambling. And uh, once again, I remind you to uh, contact me in case if you have any doubt and further guidance uh, with the phone number or the WhatsApp number or the WhatsApp group uh, which is provided to you. Uh, thank you. With this, we'll stop today's uh, lecture.